Hello beautifuls, this is Arum here, and welcome back to Story of Seasons Trio Towns. Do you guys know how last episode I said, like, I'm just gonna continue playing off camera, do all this stuff? I lied, because I came into this place, about to deliver the Ford, and guess what? Another cutscene, the Dense Doctor, which is obviously Ford. <laughs> if you're not hopeless when it comes to love, then who the heck is? It's wrong, Brad. Oh, a Romy, nice timing. Okay. That took forever for me to walk up there. We were just talking about how Ford is a rare breed of thick headed men. Man, you must have noticed too, right? Wayne, could you please refrain from spouting such nonsense in front of a Romy? I am in no way thick headed. After all, someone who can't understand a person's heart is incapable of being a doctor. What? Oh, yeah? Like telling us about what happened one more time, then? That girl who's been going to your clinic a whole lot recently. Something happened with her, right? As I said before, nothing all that noteworthy happened. But, she has been coming to the clinic for a while due to an injury. And just the other day, her treatment finally finished. But when I told her she wouldn't have to come in anymore, she immediately rejected the idea. Then she started saying things like, But I want to stay by her side, Dr. Ford. Oh, He just doesn't get it, though. Exactly, Romy. At least you had the right of it. And what was it you said to her again? I merely told her that since her wounds had healed, there was no reason for her to come back. And I didn't understand why she'd come if there was no point. What? Oh, oh shit. Oh. My phone went off. I keep forgetting to put on Do Not Disturb. Having someone perfectly healthy hanging around the clinic would just be a nuisance. Of course, she said she understood, but then, for some reason, she burst into tears as she left the clinic. But that's all that happened. He's a dunce. He's not thick-headed. He's a dunce. Oh, is that all? Jeez, you're such a... <sighs> How exactly do you see the situation, then? As far as I can tell, as that young lady underwent treatment, she probably grew an interest in the medical arts. I think it's wonderful that she would soak in as much knowledge from me as possible, but a clinic is a place for treat, for treat illnesses and wounds. It's not the sort of place that a healthy person should swing by just to chat. Uh, I do that all the time with you. Sheesh, no matter how many times I hear the story, it still blows me away. That poor girl. I hate to say it, Doc, but I don't think you're ever going to land yourself a girlfriend at this rate. I feel like he's gonna say he doesn't have time for one. Nobody asked for your opinion, you know. Saving those in pain from their illnesses is my reason for living. I have no time for such other trivialities. Trivialties? Trivialties? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I get what you're saying, but... How about you, Romy? What do you make of all this? Do you think Ford's reaction was too cold? I guess he's just not interested in romance. I think it was logical reason for a doctor. Ro it was a logical response for a doctor. No, it is, because, you know, doctors are not allowed to have romances with their caretaker, the caretaker, what the hell? They're, um, uh, um, I don't know what they call this. It's not customer, obviously. They're patients. What? Are you being serious with me right now, Romy? I mean, I think so, too. Absolutely. I'm glad you came. If not for you, these people would continue would have continued to unfairly label me as a boneheaded man. I mean, he's a doctor. At the end of the day, he cannot return those feelings. You know? Unless the girl goes to see another doctor, then there we go. Any anyhow, now that I'm feeling better, I must excuse myself. My next appointment is coming up soon. I'm always gonna side with everybody, but you know, I'm not gonna go after these guys. So. Man, this is just depressing now. Aromi, could it be that you're actually just as dense as Ford? Huh? What they said earlier was just them sympathizing with Ford, right Aromi? Yes, of course! Oh, I gotcha, so that's what that was. Thank goodness, we only need one bonehead when it comes to romance. You know, he kept on going on and on about how he wasn't a bonehead, but me thinks Dr. Doss protests too much. He's so dense that it's actually kind of refreshing. I guess you could say it's part of his charm. So 
Funnily enough, Ford is actually pretty popular with the ladies despite how he might act. They don't go crazy over him like they do with Wayne, but girls who just come out and proclaim their love for him do appear every now and then. Every now and again. I've seen it happen before. According to Carrie, they call him the Crystal King. But the guy's coolest when it comes to how women think. I just don't get why they're so crazy about him. Really, I think I can kind of get I kind of get why Ford's so popular with the ladies. If someone who's normally aloof and doesn't smile a whole lot smiles only at you, there is something really special and heart racing about that. Don't think around me. Yeah, of course, for sure. Oh, I guess that makes sense. But it doesn't matter how popular with the ladies he is. So long as he's so dense, he's never gonna get a girlfriend. No doubt. If there is a woman out there who can handle Ford, they better either gotta be even more thick-headed than him, or they gotta be someone who can understand Ford's awkward attempts at kind That's cute. Ford is not really the, the guy for me. Excuse me, stop kicking me out. Came here to deliver you a package. There you go. Okay, who else? I'm kind of upset because I really didn't want to, like... didn't want this to happen, but it did. It did. Now I had to cry in shame. <laughs> I don't think I have anything to sell either. Frank, get to deliver. There you go. Oh, oh, sorry. Go, Uncle Frank. Joy. Oh, Wayne's coming. I just saw you. I'm not sure if I have any other part-time jobs. I delivered everything. Okay, cut wood. Wood, wood. Cool, cool, I'll do this. It's not gonna be enough. Get that cow I want, but it's fine. It's fine. I don't think I can afford to take care of so many animals. So we might end up selling the cow. Buying the cow, selling the cow. Alright. There we go. Give me the money. I don't, I, of course I'm not going to get as much back that I'm blowing on the cow anyway. Maybe I should just keep the cow so that, that cow can be like my, um my cow to go to when I need milk for my eggs because I, I feel like I always have more more eggs than milk Tara Tara I'm here some wood for you for see I love Tara Tara because she doesn't ask for too much I only ask for five Here we go. <laughs> I think we're close to um, the cow price, but I don't think we'll make it because she tends to not give us a lot. She she asked for twelve. Seriously, really now. Fine, fine. I'm actually pulling up the guide for um, the cows, and some of these are really cute, like the Jersey cow. I have Lulu Coco as rank C though. And there's a buffalo. That's it. The actual cow, like from the trailer, we had to win the festival three times for it. Oh, she actually gave us a decent amount. Oh, she didn't even gave us food. Was well, that strange? <laughs> she never did that before. That's the first for everything. Hold the wheat. No worries, I got you. It's fine. I can handle. That's 
nine. I didn't want to go too far for the to like trigger it. Uh, hey, you're still doing your part-time job. <laughs> Often, but I mean, we did cut, uh, have a cutscene. So I think I raised enough around them. Hurry, hurry. I'm not quite sure when the town closes. <sighs> oh, shh. I can't even buy the cow because I don't have a house for it. I don't know when the, the town closes either. Oh no. Ah, Jesus. This is my fault. I believe they close at 18. Yeah, because Kanjiro is coming over to pick up the crops. Oh, oh walking into things. so fast oh no this is like racing against the time because I honestly don't know when certain places close <laughs> I'm coming I'm gonna buy an animal timid active gentle okay. timid is what I'll name it. Uh, I'll name it. <laughs> what do I name it? I am so horrible with names. I don't know. Um. Um. <sighs> Cookie? Is Cookie Ling? I don't know. This is like children naming it, basically. Cookie. Your name is Cookie. Oh, oh, that's it, that's it. No, oh, no, no more. Can't afford anything else. Yay! I complete the farming tip. Yes, Dad should be proud now. Better be freaking proud. Alright, now let's go take care of the damn animals. Because I bought so many of them and then I, I don't have food for them out or anything currently. That owner. Now it's gonna be like tougher to take care of a lot of animals. It's fine. A lot going on. Okay, um, I need to grab some fodder. Grab like 20. Oh. Uh. oh, I can milk you already? Oh, really? Huh. Whoa. Okay, I was wondering why it wasn't stopping. Oh my god, did I not buy soft treats? I... Or, or maybe I did, but it's, um... Okay, they're already fed. I think I need to get my clippers out as well. Off treat, sir. Down the left. 
Alright, I need to go get my clippers. Now that I have use for them. It's a lot going on. It's a lot. Holy crap. I haven't been needing to um, water my crops either, so that's kind of like relaxing. There's like so many of them in here. Um, do you need milking still? No? Okay. Cheer. Aw, is she so cute? Oh, and the alpaca. Oh, oh, but let's give him off soft treat. No cotton. And oh, sorry. Cloud, 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 stop. And Mochi. Mochi is so cute. Okay, I, I trust you. Shear, shear. I will shear. Clippers. Hold on. Whoa, look at it! Oh my god, look at him! Oh, what is Mochi gonna look like? Oh my god, it's naked! Oh my god, look at her! Look at her, she's so naked! Oh my god! Cotton looks so weird! Apocas looks so weird without the fur. <laughs> she, uh, what's her? Cloud, Cloud still looks cute, but everybody else looks so funny. <laughs> so funny looking. Okay, Cream is amazing on affection, and everybody else will eventually get there. Oh, oh, I need to brush them. Usually it would tell me when to stop, but I guess these don't. Alright, is everybody good? Who has not been loved? Oh, Cookie. Cookie has not been petted. Really? I was wanting to pet Cookie. Cookie? There we go. So happy. I, I wish these small barns could uh, allow two animals in it. I feel like it's not... It's kind of weird. It's only one. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Okay, I need to put these away. I feel like this is pretty good. Um, see, the thing is... I don't know. Like The size of this one is really tiny. So I feel like it's not that good. Night road. That all this milk we that on the wool. Alpaca wool. Rabbit fur. Oh, that egg. Put this yogurt away. Cut. The pine branch. Oh. See all these wools that I put away. They can all turn into cloth, cracked. Right? I'm assuming. Oh, here's another cutscene! Yay! Romy, you in? Pardon me. I'm stop playing this game after this, because I need to eat and record needless. Well, well, looks like you finished up everything on the first farming tips list. Congrats! Woo! I'll let your paw know it's done. Once the next list gets here, I'll come get come let you know right away. Oh, and one more thing. I've cleared and tidied up the plot of the land to the west of your farm. It should be all ready for you to use as you please. Go check on on Go check on go check on and check it out when what you have a minute? Yes! Thank you! I'm gonna throw my animals on that plot. <laughs> Yay, my farm is bigger now. Let's go check out the new area. Yes, let's go right now. Uncle Frank, we are leaving right now. Right, I'll be headed home then. See you later, Romy. 
Let's go check this out. I really needed this extra land. <sighs> Where is it? Hello, another cutscene? Our reward from Desi. Oh, Desi's gonna give us something? Romy, hey, Romy! Hello? Nice to see you, Romy. How's it going? You're looking good. It's, it looks like you've been doing a really good job with the farm recently, Romy. As a reward for your hard work, I'm here to give you a stupendous pre present. Okay, just hold still for a moment. Abra Kapokus. Ooh, I'm not sparkly. What happened to me? Hello? <gasps> More stamina! Thank you. Your stamina increased. Awesome. Cool, huh? I'll be cheering you on. Just keep up the good work. Thank you. That one extra stamina will help, help so much. Aww, that's so sweet. Straw market. Offering a new gift wrapping service. Alright. Now selling horses. Get your pets here. Rural outfitters. The hell is that? Oh, it's a, um... To you, Kusa? Horses. Oh, Paul is now offering a box gift. Batch of items? Okay, Ludus got a new box. I mean, you have. You seem to have just as well to life as a farmer and gained some agriculture pro West. Finally, we award you the title of Provisional Farmer. We hope that your farm life here, from here on out, is fruitful and rewarding. You are now accepting orders for bouquets. Uh, we are now selling new recipes. Alright, we gotta go there. Uh, something tailoring request. Hey, Jarakula. Items. Yeah, I believe we are all the old ones. Hey! There's so much going on. Very juicy. What plot of land? Oh, he's are ready to harvest. Coming up, they're coming. These pulmarias are like forever. Tomatoes, good, good. Cassava. There's like so much going on. Um, make these juice. Watermelon. Sugary shell sugar shell peach. Oh my god, I don't think I've been taking care of that. <laughs> Sparkly. I want the color for very bright and pretty. Oh, my maple tree. Getting up there. Alright, now let's go water. We have been able to water a lot of our crops because it's been raining. Water this spot. Water this. I mean, it's kind of bad in some t points because, like, like right there, <laughs> it's only one extra plot. That I need to Compared to these. But I could keep um, upgrading my watering can. Someone upgraded theirs to 5x5. Five five. Some people said uh, it's better just 8x3. I think they said 3x3 three three was the worst or such. See that point, that point, that point. Watering only this spot. This one. Yeah. But is it this one that unlocked? Yes. Ooh, there's stuff here. Trees I can pick. Ooh, and a little fishing hole there. I will definitely chop these trees down because I need the space. Wow. 
for sure I want my uh, crops here and my animals. Wow, look at that. It's so much land. So much. Yeah, for sure I'm gonna put my uh, fields here. And then my barn animals near my house. Wow. This is so exciting. There's like so much stuff for me now. Kind of like a nerve-wracking at the same time. Because... I believe I have some crops left as well. Oh, not put away. Okay, like two onion seeds here, tomato seeds. Uh, cassava, which is taking forever to freaking grow. Okay, that. Now, how long does these seeds take? Six to seven, four days. Uh, grows well in the summer, takes four days to harvest, keeps growing its vines afterward, and produces more crops. Uh, 11 to 13 days, 8 to 10, 12 to 14. 12 to 14, okay. But I do have extra plots left, so we definitely can go and plot some right now. Well, we should take care of my first. <laughs> so much going on. Pet you. How cute. And let's brush you. And treat. There you go. Okay. Do good. Half a heart. Chicken. Okay. Pick up. Flip. Run right around. And pitchfork. A doo doo. That's disgusting. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Okay, going up. Oh, the coat! The, her uh, coat finally went up to D. That took forever. Especially since we're giving her, like, spicy food. I think that, like, helps along with it. Are there any more doo doo around here? Okay, okay. Pet you. Pet you. Pet. Oh, pick you up. Hello. Okay, we're going to get some out. I believe the water can hold five. I meant seven, sorry. Oh wow, I have just enough. Oh. That's cute. I thought they all just shared one. So that's that's nice. Uh, we can't share them. So that's a problem. Oh, Mochi's not in love with us yet. Everybody else is. Wow, Mochi's like a difficult little thing. Uh, yeah, I don't think we can clip them. Yeah, I already shared them. It's fine. Mochi will eventually love us. Anyway. I'm probably gonna end the episode here. I don't want to do anything else because I'm pretty sure. Whoa, whoa, was there a special date today? There's a little crown for an event. Oh no, animal festival. 
competition that appraises the livestock. There are different themes for each class. Talk to MC between 10 and 13 to participate. Oh, we're already late, first of all. But I'm gonna save it here today. I'm probably not gonna touch this game for a little bit because there's so much going on. We're gonna enter in probably Cream, the cow, because her affection is so high. So I kind of want to enter her in it. She's okay and everything else. But other than that, this is where we're gonna stop for the episode. Thank you guys for watching. Stay beautiful, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thank you.